Hi, it's Zoon from Zoon Sewing Therapy. I'm going to show you how to make a fleece hat with ear flaps for toddlers. This is a reversible version and will require a bit of hand sewing. If you're feeling pain or experiencing any swelling in your fingers and having trouble pinching the sewing needle, you can make this hat one-sided by closing the opening to pull the hat right side out by using a sewing machine. I use less than a quarter of a yard of blizzard fleece and sweater fleece. I don't ever pre-wash my fleece fabrics because fleece doesn't shrink. Okay, so let's get started by printing out the pattern. I've included the link below. After cutting out all the pieces, we will sew the panels together in twos with a quarter inch seam allowance. Then, put the four panels together to make the crown, using a quarter inch seam allowance. Leave a 2 inch opening which will be used to pull the hat through right side out. For the reversible hat, it doesn't matter which side you leave the opening, but for the non-reversible, leave an opening on the side that will be on the inside. Moving on to the side band with ear flaps, fold it in half and sew with a quarter inch seam. Now we can attach the crown to the band. Fold the crown in half and match the seam on one side of the crown to the seam on the band and then match the seam to the center front of the band. Pin it around and then sew with a quarter inch seam. Before putting the two hat pieces together, let's work on the straps. I cut out four blizzard fleece pieces that are 1 inch wide and 14 and a half inches long. I ended up sewing it a quarter of an inch from the edge all around and then another 1 8 inch seam. I also trimmed down the edges. The end that's left open will be attached to the ear flap. Attach the straps to the ear flaps with a 1 8 inch seam allowance. Now it's time to put the hat together. Put the two hat pieces right sides together and pin it all around and sew with a quarter inch seam allowance.
pull the hat right side out through the opening. For the non-reversible version, pull the hat pieces apart so that you're not sewing them together. Then, using your sewing machine, sew close to the folded edge. Since it is a one-sided version, that seam will be hidden inside the hat. This option may be better if you're feeling pain in your fingers and is having trouble pinching something very small like a needle. The reversible version requires some hand stitching. The invisible ladder stitch along the folded panel is perfect for hiding seams. I left a little tail where I started off hand sewing, and I sewed back to the thread tail and tied the threads together in a knot. Then clip the thread and push the knot in between the seam with a needle. And that's it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out zoomsewingtherapy.com for more free patterns and projects. Thank you for watching.